Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today, I wanted to do a moisturization slash wash and go video. And this is a trial and error thing. Like, I have never done this before. I just decided to give it a try. Last night, I was deep conditioning my hair and uh, finger detangling it. And I really like the definition that I got from that. So I thought today, let's see if I can actually attempt a wash and go with my hair texture and I would probably like I like to call my hair texture 4Z because it's not a C texture it's very like zigzaggy and very very fluffy so I'm definitely not a 4C I'm just something else <coughs> and I know there are people who don't bless you babe I know there are some people who don't curl type but I do just so that I know that there are certain things that will not work for me so my expectations are never too high for a specific style. Actually this isn't even too bad. I didn't even try. You see this is what I don't like. When you don't try to do something it turns out well and then when you do try it doesn't turn out well like anyways well I'm still gonna go through this and do what I said I was gonna do. I'll be right back. I have the baby in here and that wasn't really a good idea because she's watching her show. One sec. Yeah. Ha! No. Not for you. Alright, sorry about that. You guys are going to hear noise in the background regardless because she is not trying to cooperate right now. But whatever. So first I'm going to use my spray bottle with some water and conditioner in it. And I normally use this to, oop, I normally use this whenever I'm trying to condition my hair. This I mostly use for my daughter's hair, um, but it works really well for mine as well. And I'm going to try the LCO method. Normally I try the lock method and it fails on me, but I was watching some videos on hair type and porosity and texture and all that stuff and they said that if you have hair that is prone to lose uh, moisture very easily, to try the LCO method, which is leave-in conditioner, uh, cream, and oil to seal it in. So we'll see how that goes. And the shrinkage has already started. So I use that as my leave-in. I will use my cream now. And I normally use the curl cream from one and only Argan Oil. Oh my God. Hey, hey, no ma'am, no ma'am. And I'm gonna put in that much and we'll see how well. Goes in. It feels good and I did condition it last night as well I'm gonna take another pump about that much yeah so I did deep condition it and the finger detangled it while the conditioner was in so that it could deeply penetrate it so hopefully this is just adding oh look at this y'all heat damage oh my gosh not every straightener is created equally fyi and i thought because i had such a difficult tough texture that i would not get heat damage and so i went and used somebody else's straightener and the curls are having a bit of an issue so yeah anyways all right and then i'll also use my denman brush just to detangle it a bit more because I only finger detangled yesterday. So we'll just make sure that everything is good. Okay. And the thing that I noticed with my hair is the ends are very frizzy. So I'll get like defined curls at the top and the middle. And at the end it would be like very frizzy. And I know they say that that means it's time for a trim, but the thing is, every time I trim my hair, and then I still have the frizzies at the end, so I don't know if it means that I'm just not putting enough moisture into my hair, or I'm not sealing it properly, and this girl is playing with stuff, Lord. Y'all, kids, boy, and this girl has been putting me through it all day today, like, 
I've been so exhausted, so exhausted. And then I'm just gonna put in my oil. I'm gonna try to use castor oil because I find that the other oils I'm using, maybe it's that they're too light for my hair. So we'll see if castor oil will give it that extra moisture that it needs. And of course she went and found the thing I took away from her. But yeah, um, I know that I was seeing on YouTube somewhere that different types of oils do different things. Like some just add oil to your hair and then the others you used to, some add moisture to your hair and then the others you used to actually seal in the moisture. I can't remember if castor oil is used as just moisture or as a sealant, but I guess we're going to find out. Let me see. I mean, doesn't feel too bad. And I'll probably just do a braid out. I was gonna do a wash and go, but meh. I'm not really in the mood right now. Mm -hmm. 